Hey guys! So if you are anything like me, you are going to absolutely love buying your parrot or building your parrot brand new toys. There's something about seeing a bird, getting to interact with brand new things that is absolutely incredible. Uh, however, after a little bit of time, you may notice that the blocks get chewed uh, or the toys just start to look a little bit tired. Uh, and they're probably not something you would be proud to have in your bird's cage. But a lot of those toys and toy parts can be reusable. So in today's video, I'm going to go over my top five parrot toy parts that you should be reusing. So if that's something you want to see, you want to make sure to stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. Hey there guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. Uh, now I love parrot toys, but one of the biggest complaints I have heard from people about parrot toys is that they get to be very, very expensive, especially when you consider that most of the toys made for parrots are shreddable or destructible toys. Uh, it doesn't take very long for them to start chewing on pieces and for the toys to just look kind of rough. Now in this video, I wanted to show you guys a couple of my favorite toy parts that are going to come either separately that you can purchase to be using with your toys uh, or parts that will be left over when a bird is pretty much done with a toy. Uh, and these are all parts that you should be saving because you can reuse them, you can put toys back together, uh, and you can use these parts to basically lessen the economic impact of providing your bird with a steady stream of enrichment and toys. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my top five bird toy parts that you should be recycling and reusing. Now the first item is going to be pretty obvious. Uh, this is going to be something that has so many different applications, and that is going to be Quick Links. If you get a toy that has Quick Links on it, uh, you want to make sure that if the toy is completely destroyed, you save the Quick Links. Uh, if you ever get to a point where you think that you have too many Quick Links, uh, slap yourself on the hand because you're wrong, because you can definitely use more of these. You can use these to attach toys to the top and sides of a bird's enclosure. You can use these to attach toys to each other. Uh, if you have wooden blocks that have holes drilled into them, you can use quick links uh, to sort of work the chain through to secure multiple different strands of things onto a single block or onto a single piece of chain. Uh, so you can get a lot of use that way. You can use quick links for things like securing food door holders, you know, the, the swinging doors for food and water bowls. Uh, a lot of birds can figure out how those work, but you can then use a quick link to make it so that your bird can't let itself out. So these definitely have an endless array of uses. Now the next item, my fourth item on this list, uh, is not a toy part. It is something that you purchase separately, but it is definitely something that you should have in your bird toy arsenal. Uh, and I'm going to put links to all of these items uh, where you can find them online in the description section below. Uh, now most of them will come with regular toys, but stainless steel kebabs are going to be something that you buy separately and you definitely need to have. Uh, the good thing about a kebab is that it is going to work the same way as a piece of chain or a piece of bird safe rope on another toy, uh, but it is practically indestructible. Now you can find these in a couple different configurations. Uh, you can get straight line ones like this. You can also get ones that are uh, spiraled almost like a, a Boeing um, or any of those other rope toys. They're also going to have a variety of different fittings at the end. So figure out what works best for your application. Uh, I absolutely love the ones that are just a solid ball at the end and you just twist it on. Um, there are some that have a, a slip fitting with a button. Uh, in my experience, birds can learn to undo that, but I know other people who have birds who have been fine with that. Uh, now one thing I want to point out about a stainless steel kebab, these come apart, uh, they can easily be hand washed in 
hot soapy water um, and come incredibly clean with just that and we all know keeping bird stuff clean is one of the biggest challenges got overexcited there uh, <laughs> everyone gets excited talking about kebabs um, but one thing I want to point out most people would think that you would use this ring at the top you would attach your quick link and then you can hang this either on the top or the sides of the enclosure but another way to use this is to go ahead, take the fitting off the end, load up whatever you want. So if you want pieces of food, if you want uh, wooden blocks, uh, honestly, this is a great way to feed your bird greens. If you just take whole pieces of lettuce and string them on here, birds will go crazy, absolutely devouring them. Uh, you can then take this, feed that through the outside of your cage wire. So you have the majority of it in here, all the items in there but then it's poking through the outside. Secure that ball or slip fitting at the end. And what that's gonna do, that'll then hold onto the cage wire and you then have a ring on the inside where you can attach even more toys. Uh, so that's a great way that you can use that. A couple of different ways to use that. So again, there will be a link to these in the description section down below. I cannot recommend them highly enough, uh, but that is something that you're going to have to buy separately um, but once you buy it, you can use it for the rest of its lifetime, and it is absolutely incredible. Now, the third item I want to talk about is going to be bits of chain. Uh, a lot of us buy bird toys that are built on bits of chain, and you should definitely be saving them. Uh, but I have a couple of them here I want to show you guys, because not all bits of chain on toys are going to be created equal. So the first one I wanted to show you guys is this one right here. You can see that's a pretty small piece of chain. It has a coconut piece. At one point this had leather strips and wooden beads on that piece. And you can see it does have an o-ring on both sides. That o-ring holds this up. Now I could put pieces on here, uh, but because it has an o-ring on both sides, it is going to be a little bit more difficult to thread wooden blocks or pieces of food onto this. Um, because then I would have to make sure that the opening is big enough to accommodate this O-ring. Um, and especially if this coconut piece ever goes away, you would then be trying to get that, but then also getting it to not slip off the end. Um, you could, of course, open and close the O-rings, but I know a lot of people are really averse to doing that. So the next option is going to be something like this. Now this one has this absolutely incredible wooden ring at the bottom. So I just need to make sure any beads, wooden blocks, any pieces like that are just have an opening smaller than this wooden ring. They'll stay on there really nicely. This is also a longer section of chain. Um, so that's going to give me a lot more options. Uh, this one right here is a very tiny piece of chain. I could maybe get one or two blocks on that. Um, this I could definitely do a lot more. Now, depending on your bird, there is a chance that they will eventually chew through this wooden ring. Um, as you can see, this one wasn't even touched, but um, the pieces that came through here, and again, those would have been on leather strips, uh, those were absolutely destroyed. Now, if this ring is ever destroyed, then everything just needs to be bigger than the O-ring that it is built on, or, or rather smaller than the O-ring that it is built on. The O-ring is as big as you can go, um, and so it would effectively look like that. Um, so, I mean, that, that's pretty good. It has the O-ring on one side. You would attach your quick link to the other. You could re-string toy parts onto this pretty easily. Um, but this third one I want to show you guys, you can see it has a really nice O-ring at the bottom of it. Again, it's a good piece of bird safe chain. Uh, so, again, I would just attach a quick link to this piece of chain. Um, and obviously when you use quick links, you have to throw the first one on the ground. That makes the second one work really well. Um, seriously though, if you guys do that, pick up the first one because uh, you don't want your bird just figuring that out loose on the floor of its enclosure. Uh, but then you have the quick link. You can have all of your pieces on there. Um, since that O-ring is a little bit bigger, uh, it is going to be a little more useful. At least I find it to be a little more useful. Um, so pieces of bird safe chain, all of these are going to be useful in remaking toys. Uh, but those are the sorts of things I look like when I buy toys. 
the first time around, uh, I am already thinking about how am I going to be able to reuse those parts. So a decent length of chain, an O-ring only on one side, and a decent sized O-ring are going to be the main things that I am going to look for. Now the next item you want to think about is going to be uh, a bell. Uh, bells are one of my favorite items to use. Uh, and this one also doubles as a good piece of chain, so I can use it the same way as I used all those other recycled pieces of chain. Uh, but the nice thing about a bell is that it adds a level of enrichment to whatever toy you are making. So you can add shreddable pieces, you can add wooden blocks, you can add foraging toys um, or foraging pieces onto your piece of chain to make them all of those different toys but adding a bell adds that auditory level of enrichment as well. So it's an absolutely great thing to have. Now you wanna make sure when you are picking out a toy with a bell on it, or picking out a toy, or rather picking out a bell to be a part of a toy, that it is going to be built sturdy enough for your bird. Uh, a lot of the toys you'll see have modified cowbells, and even if they are big cowbells, the clacker inside is going to be on a very small piece of metal, the bell itself is usually going to be pretty flimsy. Uh, so things like macaws and cockatoos, I wouldn't trust them with a cowbell because they have no problem crunching them into absolutely nothing or tearing off bits of metal. Uh, this kind of bell right here, the cylindrical bell, uh, the clacker is in very, very deep, so it makes noise, but the bird can't get to it. This is a very sturdy bell. I have had a Moluccan cockatoo chew on this bell, or rather try to chew on this bell um, and as you can see, it is not dented. It is in really, really good shape. So bells are something you should be saving. And the last item you should be saving uh, is going to be uh, wooden blocks, wooden beads, spacer pieces. Um, now, a lot of these will get damaged or destroyed as your bird is chewing on them, but usually not all of them. Um, so if the pieces are still safe, if they can be cleaned really easily you know if you can use soap and water to clean them and make them sanitary and safe for your bird go ahead and save those obviously if it's half gone if it is chewed up and the bird has gone to the bathroom on it which means uh, there are going to be bits of fecal material stuck onto the wooden beads uh, i wouldn't save those um, but if it is reasonably intact and can be cleaned up you can go ahead and save them and you want to save them uh, in a variety of different shapes and sizes because as you start redoing toys, you're going to learn a bunch of different ways that you can reuse them. So here I have just a basic wooden ring um, and this one is a basic wooden cup. And if I put these two pieces together, uh, and I'm actually gonna use my kebab for this, you can see again, the kebab is one of the best toy parts that you need um, because it goes together so easily. But if I put those two pieces together like that, what I have created is a foraging cup. Uh, I can lift this piece, put small pieces of food, maybe dried papaya is a favorite for most of my birds, but things like sunflower seeds. Uh, again, you know your bird, you know what's gonna work best in this situation, uh, and then go ahead and close that. Now the bird has to figure out how to move this to get into the food. Uh, or your bird may just decide that it's gonna go through this to get to the food. Uh, but either way, by saving different wooden beads from different toys, you can build brand new toys that accomplish uh, you know, the goals that neither one of those individual toys would have been able to accomplish on their own. So there are my top five picks for the parrot toy parts that you should be saving and reusing. Uh, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I certainly hope it's been helpful. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead, subscribe to the channel because I am tirelessly working to find new ways to do things uh, or even just ways that people don't really think of to make exotic animal keeping more exciting, more affordable. Uh, I know we all appreciate that and more enjoyable. So once again, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. All right, thanks. I do need to say Bye. thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting High Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks. Mm -hmm.